In this lesson, you will learn to subtract whole numbers without any regrouping. So if we start off with our first problem, we have 48 minus 25. We do as we look at our ones place first, we start the ones. 8 minus 5. If we take 5 away from 8, there are 3 left over. Okay, And then 4 minus 2 is 2. So our answer is 23. So 48 minus 25 is 23. A little bit larger problem. Again, we start in the ones place. If we have 7 and we take 6 away from that, there is 1 left over. In the tens place, if we have 6 and we take 4 away from that 6, there are 2 left over. And in the hundreds place, there are 3. We're taking away 1, so there are 2 left over. So our answer is 221. We have 999, subtract 246. Again, start in the ones place. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 9 minus 2 is 7. And our answer is 753. Even larger numbers. Same thing. We're going to start in the ones place and move to the left. 7 minus 1, 6. We have 6 tens minus 4 tens. That gives us 2 tens. 5 hundreds minus 2 hundreds, 3 hundreds. And 8 thousands minus 2 thousands, we have a 6 thousand. So our answer is 6,326. One more example. Starting in the ones, 7 minus 4 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. So that's when they're written this way. If they're written the other way, you need to be careful and line up your place value. We start with subtraction. We start with the first number, 498. We subtract the second number that goes below it, but the place value matters. The 2 is in the 1s, the 6 is in the 10s, so we have to line up the place value. The 2 in the 1s, the 6 in the 10s, and then we subtract. So 8 minus 2 is 6, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 4 minus nothing, or this is like a 0 there, 4 minus nothing is 4. And our answer is 436. That's the end of the lesson on subtracting whole numbers without regrouping.